So I'm just about to need to splice this yarn and I'm currently working with a single ply in acrylic. And I have just about enough left to make one more stitch, but no more than that. Now, if your needle is too long that you can't get to the, to the connection stitch here comfortably, you can always do your stitch with the eye of the needle, assuming that it's pointy enough. And currently I'm working Dolby. So I went through my connection stitch. I'm lifting up, coming in and out, over and under my cross to make my next stitch. Pushing it through, pull the tail, all right? So now that's ready to add new yarn to. But the first thing I need to do is get another length of yarn. So I'm going to pull uh, two to three yards worth of yarn. In the case of this, you might go with the shorter amount because uh, it's rather delicate and uh, that can be tricky to work with. And then I'm going to get my fingers about six inches apart and I'm going to unspin the yarn until all the fibers are parallel with each other. And then I'm just going to gently pull and they will pull apart. I'm going to thread my needle. And then when I get to my ends, I'm going to do this process to both ends. So the yarn to be added, I'm going to pinch down about an inch and a half, two inches down, about as long as whatever my tail is here. Just a short little one. And I'm going to pull sideways so that it forms this fan. I do not want to pull open the tips. So you can see the tip there is still closed. I want that to stay and I'm going to pull sideways so that it forms a nice fan. I'm going to do the same thing to the yarn that is still attached to my null binding down by my null binding itself. I'm going to pull sideways, opening up that fan. Then I'm going to tuck the tip in. And on the one I'm going to add, I'm going to tuck the tip down. I'm going to lay the two on top of each other so that the fans overlap. And then I'm going to take the yarn and I'm going to spin it in the direction that it is spun. You notice I'm putting some pressure against there so that I'm holding that spin back until it really gets in there. I might use my fingers to rub and roll some of the bit closer to the work to make sure that all the tails get in there. Now I've overspun this. See, this is more spun than I usually have the yarn. I do have to be careful to not overspin too much and make sure that I keep the rest of the yarn spun. Now I tend to just hold on to this. This is wool. This is acrylic. It's acrylic. It will not splice like wool. It won't felt. So I just hold on to my splice. Take my next stitch. And by working this close to my work, when I take that next stitch, I only have to be careful of my splice right here at this point. So I'm gonna pull my yarn through, down my thumb. It is a bit twisty, so it's at this tail end, so it's being a little cantankerous. And then right as I get here, I'm gonna be very gentle so that I only just pull enough to pull the splice. And I might loosen it a little bit here so that it's not so tight in comparison to the rest of the work. Let that go, pull it down to where it touches. And then from there, I can just null bind as normal. Just keep going. After that, everything is stable and secure because that was all done in that one stitch. I don't have to worry about it. I just continue taking my stitches from there. And when it comes time, I will add more yarn.